Hi, the undersigned clerk of the Board of Education in One Oak School District, God 3, of Woods County, Oklahoma, do hereby certify that prior to December the 15th of the last calendar year, the date, time, and place of this regular meeting was filed in the office of the clerk of Woods County, Oklahoma. If any changes have been made at the date, time, or place of this regular scheduled meeting, proper notice and writing has been given to the county clerk as required by law not less than 10 days prior to the implementation of said change. I also certify that at least 24 hours prior to the meeting, excluding Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays at the time, date, time, place, and agenda of this meeting was posted in prominent public view at the location of this meeting. Witness my hand and seal of the school district, fourth day of May, 2007, first day of May. Oh, that is first, sorry, first day. Gum. Here. Ferguson. Here. George. Here. Visitors' comments. No comments. All the following items will be approved by one vote unless any board member desire to have a separate vote on any or all these items. The consent agenda consists of the discussion, consideration, and approval of the following items. I move that we uh, approve the consent agenda. Second. Motion been made in second. How do you vote, Garrett? Yes. 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 Superintendent's report. Uh, just quickly, uh, uh, Clint always wants me to give a something about finances at this part. I'll just go ahead and say it. Uh, the collections are ahead of schedule or are ahead of last two years at this point. So, uh, you know, that's a that's a positive thing. Uh, also. Uh, we're, we're down uh, a little bit in uh, expenses, so you know, financially going into the last couple of months of the year, we're in, we're in excellent shape. Um, I met uh, last Wednesday night. Uh, we opened the bids for the uh, gym renovation, cafeteria renovation project. Uh, representatives from Joe Halls and, and representative from uh, Boynton Williams was here. Uh, we recorded everything, Lori and I, or Lori reported everything. And after, after that, uh, Chris with Joe Hall group took, took the bids home and went through them to make sure that if somebody bid something and had the low bid, everything was included. And uh, he finished that and, and met with me today. Um, the, the project is right at, Right at five hundred eighty-six thousand dollars for the whole project. Um, he couldn't be here tonight. He was supposed to be here tonight, and Joe Hall was. And Joe Hall had a family uh, uh, situation come up where he couldn't. And I, I talked to Mr. George the other day, and we're going to have that meeting with Joe Hall and uh, and his people next Monday at 5 o'clock. And the reason we're doing it at 5 o'clock is we've got a, one of the banquets is next Monday night at 7 or 7.30. So, you know, should be a 15 minute, 30 minute meeting, but any questions we'll have, go over anything, then, you know, Joe or Chris will, will be able to answer that. Uh, they've got a hundred thousand uh, dollars kind of built in uh, contingency on this project you know in case uh, something gets they find they get in there and they find termites so they get in there and they find something going on we don't have to come back and have a board meeting they got a hundred thousand of fluff yes to Please to work it. with you know that we don't have to but anyway he'll he'll explain all of that and go over all the numbers and everything uh there was 3.8 bids per item so you know there was a little competition in the bidding uh it was it was kind of a neat deal to set through you know uh, most of the things were pretty close on the bids. There was a couple of items that there was a wide discrepancy. You know, that, I guess that's one of the reasons they go home and make sure everybody's bidding on the exactly apples what they're supposed apples. to be. Apples for apples, exactly. So anyway, uh, Lori will set up a meeting. We'll do that uh, next Monday at five. And uh, and you know, at that time we can, you know, you can vote yes. We'll go with it. Joe and Clarence will both be here, or just Joe. I think Joe and Chris both will be here. Chris, oh, Chris. Chris is the kind of the number two man in that operation. 
So, and and that's not even the guy that's actually going to be on site every day uh, for this project. And we met him the other night too. You know, good guys. So, uh, look forward to getting that. And they think that they will start the Monday after we get out of school. They'll start. They may even be uh, unloading stuff Saturday uh, after we get through. Right. And the reason they didn't wouldn't be here Friday is because I've got some people wanting to use the multi-purpose building after uh, graduation. So I ask them if they just not do that Friday and you know what's a day. But uh, they're going to get in here and get started and try to you know we get everything done Monday. Their thing is have this thing done before school starts. So yeah, you said it's no, no, no. Five hundred eighty-six is the kind of the total, but they've got 100, about one hundred thousand dollars. Six eighty-six. I, I totaled up those bids, and I had about four hundred forty-two thousand bids. There must have been. Some well, there's some uh, that's pretty low bids fee. Construct. You don't have a construction management fee in that figure. Yeah. That's sixty-two. Yeah, I thought I did. Now, well, you've got the. You've I got, got, got the Joe Hall. Yeah, deal. you've got Joe Hall. That's just the the other work. That, okay. I mean, he's got a bid in here too. Yeah, seventy-eight. Okay. Yeah. So that's the construction. And then there's twelve contingency that they just put in too. Oh, we did. They've got eighty more. But anyway, in the five eighty-six, you've got at least sixty-two right here. Yeah. Okay. And you've got twelve. And so they're got to be able to, yeah, with that hundred thousand dollars, and they're close anyway. Yeah. Like the but anyway, he will go over all any, any questions that that you might have over that. Uh, all right. Basically, that's that's all I've got on Superintendent Report, Mr. Merriweather. Uh, finished testing and went pretty smooth had a couple of hitches but it was no big deal uh, so now we're trying to wind the school year down with all our banquets and, and concerts and plays so our first uh, item we'll have will be thursday on the fourth be our music concert so if you get on the school website or calendar you'll see the the dates and the rest of the activities so uh, might try to attend those if you can uh, other than that we're Downhill side here. Any questions, for Mr. Mayweather? Heard anybody done the regional track meet yet? I know that our uh, relay team got in. Are going? Uh, Kern was leading in the hurdles just in the preliminary, so I would suspect that he's probably got in, but I don't know that for sure. We had people gone today. I would have gone, but we we've, we've had a lot of teachers out, so I. Figured I better stick around. So. Okay, vote to approve or not approve qualifying students and sponsor or sponsors to attend the SCCLA National Leadership Conference July 1st to the 7th, 2017 in Nashville, Tennessee. I mean, we got we got two students. I'll move. Second. You vote, Andy. Yes. 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 Vote to approve or not approve Winoka Band to participate in the Weatherford Wheat Heart Festival and Parade on August 19, 2017, Perriton, Texas. And and really, this is uh, this is on Mr. Klein's watch, but they need they really need to know if we're going to let them go now because you know they got the summer to kind of prepare for that. So that's why I put that on here. Uh, you know, they get a thousand dollars just for, for going to it. And, you know, we bought the marching uniforms and everything last year. I think I think it'd be a good deal for them. I'll move. Second. Did you volunteer, Mr. Klein, to drive the bus? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's I'm not. I'm not on a step trip, so what is the superintendent? Drive. I'm, I'm right. not even worried about it. You're not worried about us. <laughs> <laughs> he might he might be out there marching, I don't know. Uh, okay, do we have a motion? I'll move. Yes. Move. Second. Second. Hey vote Travis. Yes. 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 Vote to approve or not approve fundraiser request for FCCLA and band. I'll move to uh, approve both. Got a motion by Andy. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Garrett. I'll vote yes. 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 Vote to approve or not approve the use of facilities as follows. Railroader and Lady Rails basketball camp, first through fourth, May 22nd through the 24th. Nine to 12, Railroader and Lady Rails basketball camp, fifth through the eighth grade, May 22nd through the 24th, one to four. Do we have a motion? Okay. Motion by Garrett, do we have a second? Second. Second by Travis, how do you vote, Garrett? Yes. 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 
vote to approve or not approve the agreement with the Alcohol and Drug Testing Incorporated for the bus driver's alcohol and drug testing for 2017-18 school year. I'll move. Make a motion by Andy. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Travis. How do you vote, Andy? Yes. 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 Vote to approve or not approve the agreement with Alcohol and Drug Testing Incorporated for Student Extracurricular Activities, Alcohol and Drug Testing for 2017-2018 school year. I'll move on that. Got a motion by Andy. Second. Second by Garrett. Any vote, Travis? Yes. 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 Vote to approve or not approve the proposed 2017-18 school calendar. And basically, this is the same calendar that we're working on this year. Uh, Mr. Merriweather just put that together. It's the same deal. I've talked to Mr. Klein. There is legislation that says uh, you're going to have to uh, uh, tell them why and and justify going to a four-day week. But we, you know, when nova has been a four-day week for. I don't know how many years, years and years. I was in high school. And, uh, years. you know, 15 years plus uh, being a 4.0 school, four out of the last five years. So, uh, you know, they're not going to frown on that. They're just, you know, the legislature wanting to uh, get their nose in, in local policies. But uh, uh, I don't, that, that's not, I don't think that is going to be a problem. Uh, I don't think they're going to tell anybody they can't, especially since they're not going to send anybody any money. So, uh, it's just a hoop you're going to have to jump through, but Mr. Klein, we've already had that discussion, so we'll be fine. And the other thing is, I'm not even for sure that we're really considered a four-day school week because we're not for the full year. We're on a five-day week for the first semester. So and I don't we know still get how they days would look at that. A lot of those four, a lot of those schools that are going four days aren't actually getting yep. the number of days in over <clears> hours, and we're getting we're we're nine days over on hours. So every angle you can look at, we can we can justify the second semester four days. Before we cut down to this, we were like 18 days over. If you can, if you look at it by hours. And so that's why we went ahead and did that the way we've done it. We've cut it down to nine and we could add those days back in if we needed to at any time. Did you do this from Christmas break on? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if there becomes an issue of something, I mean, it's pretty easy to amend this. Yes, 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 right. We'd have to have a meeting, but yes, we could. You could go in and you could you could knock out every one of those Fridays if you you know if you had a terrible November, December, or whatever. Yeah. But the one thing I want everybody to remember: if that did happen, we would need to amend it pretty quick because I don't believe in like this time of year. We don't want to be in school on Friday. Okay, yeah. testing's yeah. over. It's not going to help us. So we would get what he's saying is we would get those in January, February if we need them instead of trying to wait till May to get them. We don't need them. Go through the testing, and that's another thing that he agreed on last year. If uh, our score started going down, then we would read, you know, and again that's that would be Mr. Merriweather, Mr. Klein's deal. But if he did agree last year that if uh, test scores started going down, then we would, you know, we'd back up and look at this again. Have you got a chance to visit? Amongst each other on the deal? You do Us? No, we haven't been. You in agreement with this? You looked at it, haven't you? Yes, I've skimmed over it. Well, I'll move to approve that. Second. Has the motion been made and seconded? I'll vote yes. 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 Discussion and vote to accept the settlement with Chesapeake Energy. I think at the last board meeting I showed you this and talked about it, but I just got it that day. So uh, anyway, Chesapeake's wanting to make an agreement, uh, which amounts to $3,447.64 to us. They're trying to uh, stave off some kind of lawsuit but they, they say that it's already the, uh, the uh, timeline is already passed but uh, you know, they act like they're trying to do the right thing you know, who knows but anyway we're probably not going to get any more than that and if we do it's going to be it's a long cost you money to get more than that it's going to cost you money to get more than that and, and you're probably not going to get more than that so 
we've had time to look at it and everything, I think we just go ahead and say okay on the settlement and take our we money. We say oil man. Out. Say I abstain. I got too many irons in this fire. Lock them both off. You guys are more welcome. Join the lawsuit if a lawsuit comes up. If we say we're not going to, we don't know how many people's going to do it. Once they do it, the lawyers going to get involved. We're, you know, we're going to pay our part for that. So. It don't take long to eat up $3,400 worth right. of cost. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'd say go ahead and accept your deal and go on down the road. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a motion that we accept the agreement. Okay, second. Your motion, second by Garrett. How you vote, Travis? Yes. 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 I abstain. Okay, proposed executive session. Do we need executive session? I don't think, I mean, Mr. Mayweather is going to recommend all his teachers be hired back. Uh, so, you know, as far as that goes, there's not going to be any discussion on that. We've got one resignation that we're going to accept because she's retiring. Means, does anybody want executive session? I don't see what I need. It. Okay, let's go We're out of the executive session. We didn't have it. We need to vote to approve or not approve resignations received today. And that is Mrs. Walker. With mixed emotions, I write this letter. I will be retiring at the end of the 2016-17 school year. It is, it is with excitement because I will be starting a new chapter in my life. But I am also filled with sadness because I have enjoyed being a part of the Winoka staff since 2008. I thank you for giving me an opportunity to be part of the, the Winoka educational system. It has been a pleasure to work with both the staff and students. I cannot express how grateful I am to have been part of the staff. I have developed some positive relationships that will follow me the rest of my life. My wish and blessing is that the Winoka school system continues to excel in making positive strides in education and in the lives of students. Thank you again, Connie Walker. Do you have a motion to accept your I will make a motion to accept Ms. Connie Walker's resignation. Motion by Andy. Second. Second by Garrett. Any vote, Garrett? Yes. 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 Will to employ or not to employ certified career classroom teachers for 2017-18 school year. And someone to make a motion that uh, we employ the certified career classroom teachers as presented. I so move. A motion by second. Andy. Have a second. Travis second. Travis second by Travis. Hey, vote. Yes. 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 
vote to employ or not employ the certified temporary classroom teachers for 2017-18 school year. And so I'm going to make a motion to uh, employ the certified temporary classroom teachers as presented. And that is uh, Will Anderson, Wendy Seaman. Well, first one year teachers Will Anderson, Mercedes Key, and Ashley Murray. Second year Nancy uh, Seaman, Megan Smith, and Dustin Smith. Also moved. Motion by Andy, second by Garrett. Any vote, Travis? Yes. 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 Vote to employ or not employ driver's education for 2000, summer 2017. Bow Westfall. Bow Westfall. We recommend the Bow Westfall be employed to teach driver's ed during the months of May and June 2017. I'll make that motion. Motion by Andy, second, second by Travis. Yes. 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 Vote to employ or not employ 2016, 2017, 2017, and 2018 summer maintenance staff. I think, uh, we're recommending Gavin Beaver, Scott Kaiser, Dustin Smith, and Bo Westfall. I'll make that motion. <laughs> motion by Andy, second by Garrett. How you vote, Andy? Yes. 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 Vote to employ or not employ certified speech pathology pathologist from June through July 2017. Now, Nat, we have Christy Johnson. She's always been our speech pathologist, but the last few summers we haven't had a kid that, that or a student that needed to be served in the summer, but we have one this year, this summer, so I need to hire her for uh, June and July. That's Christy Johnson. Okay. Oh my God, motion. Travis makes a motion, second by Andy. Hey, vote, Travis. Yes. 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 New business? No new business that I'm aware of. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Motion by Travis, second by Garrett. Thank you. I'll vote yes. 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 Damn. Thank you, Mr. George. Did you write that down? 25 yeah, I minutes? I it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really 23 minutes. <laughs>